and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Nightfall Control. Wanted to play a Nocturne deck and whenever, you know, putting together a Nocturne deck, uh, chat here was saying, let's let's kind of play some Control instead of Aggro. You know, like we play, we've played a lot of Nightfall Aggro. We're building a deck that's more Control because we want to have more Invoke and kind of see how these other Invoke cards look since they've been buffed. You know, Solari Priestess and Lunari Priestess are both 2-2s now. They were a 2-1 and 1-2 respectively before. And so we're going to ha have those cards in here. Also, of course, Aurelian Soul was buffed with a round end. Uh, but this is what we kind of ended up with looking looking at a uh, Nightfall control deck. I didn't want to have just three of two different champions because I think that there's with this kind of deck with an Invoke deck like this, you're going to be playing longer games. And there's different scenarios where you want different cards and so we're going with two Diana, two Nocturne. They're both very good removal champions. Uh, so we, we want two of both of those. Um, but then we're going to kind of split up our win conditions for our um, like our, our real value champions with one Aphelios, one Aurelian Soul. Um, so, you know, like we're going to have those two in there. We're going to be able to invoke some some big stuff. And so with having, you know, Aurelian Soul and large Celestials that we're invoking, we're going to have one Atrocity that can help us finish games. Um, but then, you know, a whole lot of uh, cheap cards. Loping Telescope is Targon, so we get to play that. That can also manifest a Celestial for us. Um, and should have just a lot of good stuff. You know, a lot like a lot of these not Nightfall cards are pretty good. For Nexus Healing, we're going to have three Doom Beast and two Star Shaping. And then also we can Unto Dusk the Doom Beast. Unto Dusk is going to be pretty good for us. We get to Unto Dusk Doom Beast to Drain 2. We can Unto Dusk the Lunari Priestess and Invoke. That could be pretty sweet. You know, basically, uh, Lunari Priestess turns Unto Dusk into being, you know, this card, Behold the Infinite, two mana invoke, but then you also draw one. <laughs> so, you know, it's it's draw one plus invoke. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and, you know, like now now we get to, if we have a leveled up Nocturne, we get to use the Unto Dusk for this ability on leveled up Nocturne also. All right, so let's get to it. Let's go ahead and play some games here with Nightfall Control. Let's see how it does. This should be a really interesting deck to play. You're going to have lots and lots of decisions here. <laughs> yeah, so two mana, draw two, but one of them is an evoke. Okay, lurkers are always difficult to stop. So let's see. Let's send these back. I like the champions. They can... Well, I like Diana. I guess Nocturne trading is good against, like, Pike. Let's just keep Diana and send it back... I guess the good thing about trading is they don't they can't just like open attack with that thing, they're gonna have to play something else to attack with. They do have something else to attack with, unfortunately. Alright, so pretty good start for them, triple one drop. Decided to just hold on to this Dust Petal Dust. Which I'm kind of glad that I did hold on to the Dust Petal Dust. Because now next round I can Dust and then play 4 mana Cloven away. And that could be really nice. Unless they open attack, of course. Hey, Aqua Phoenix. Hello, hello. Welcome to the channel. All right, down to eight. We 
we shall take the charger. That can enable Nightfall pretty well. I was planning on going Doom Beast, but actually, you know what? We should probably gr go grab... Probably start grabbing some moon weapons. Help us out a little bit. Get some stone in there. Oh, that's gross. Good solid hand from the opponent. Lots and lots of ones. They hit lurk every single time, and one of them was the death from below. <laughs> wow. That's funny, I guess. I don't know why Pike isn't challenging the Aphelios. I'm surprised about that. I guess I just play this. Alright, of course we know that last card is Rek'Sai. It has to have 8 plus power. Next round we're going to have 9 mana. Maybe we just play Loping Telescope. If I play Loping Telescope, we have 10 mana. We're just... We're just one short if my goal is like Falling Comet plus Star Shaping. We're just kind of too short either way. So might as well... Doom Beast, I suppose. No, we're in a Loping Telescope. Okay. I guess I can't really make this attack, can I? Wait, no, because the Pike dies. If the Pike dies, does it still kill my Loping Telescope? I don't think it does, does it? So we messed up their lurk. Looks good to me. Has to have 10 plus power. And so at most it can get 9, right? Like the most it can have ever get is 9. Oh, but then it's going to give this thing. So I should be able to just block it and then it goes away. As far as I know. I think we can just block it. Obviously, all my stuff dies. Okay, they missed Lurk anyway. Like, none of their stuff dies, all my stuff dies. But, the Rek'Sai will go away, so they're going to have Pike and the 2 3. Alright, we know the top card's not a Lurk card. Okay, good, 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 good. Making sure that it wouldn't kill my 2-1 also. I know it won't. See, Nocturne is just Vengeance. Kill my Nexus. Come 
mind and open heart greet the night. You were misguided. Uh, drain for two or get another invoke card. Probably just need to drain for two. I think we're okay on invoke cards. That was a really good draw getting a Dustbringer or getting another unit to be able to play here. Alright, so we know they have a uh, invoke card there. Let's play this Aurelian Soul. Or we know it's a Lurker. They have to block. Now they'll pay attention. Yeah, Nocturne and Renekton's a cool com combination. I like those two together. We we have played Nocturne and Renekton before. So All right, the deck did good. Want to know? Ooh, spooky dragons. Spooky dragons. So they're going to have the Shadow Isle dragons. The rest to go put Shyvana in play. That card's gone, of course. And I kind of want to keep the rest. So Unto Dusk just activates the Challenger on Diana again. That's not too bad, but it's got to be on Nightfall. I'll, I'll go ahead and send it back, but I don't know. Nothing wrong with Unto Dusk. Gonna play the sloping telescope. I not gonna lie, I kind of want to grab that slaughter docks. <laughs> None of these are like the other two. Like Trickster's never great against no Demacia, like against sharp side decks. Kind of want to slam down that slaughter docks. Unspeakable horror. Yeah. Called it. They forced us to choose. Have them waste a couple of mana. Maybe it's not Shivana. I am more. I definitely re was really considering going Dust Petal Dust that Unspeakable Horde during combat. Temperamental as moonlight. So they're, they're at 8 right now. If I would have just, like, saved some spell mana and not done that, I could have had, like, double Dust Petal Dust and Eclipse Dragon this round. And maybe that was just the better line of, like, just, like, throw down this 3-3 and do that. Make another Nightfall card. Go ahead and Nightfall. Get some stun. Nightfall cards are sweet. Rude. Yeah, I guess I could. I was thinking that I could play that during combat to get the plus two plus zero, but I'd have to do it before attacking. That would be a card that I could have played that would give Diana that plus two plus zero. Be heard. 
So there tons of man over there. We'll just take this. This puts him down to one. Which is not very much life. Alright, got him. Two and O oh, with Nightfall Control. The words of the heretic rang true. Sometimes we can be aggressive. Now there's the dragons getting overwhelmed. Like the, the overwhelm card on the dragons, that's that's one way the game's gonna end super fast now. Okay, so we're gonna face dragons. Uh, let's see, Nocturne can try to fight Shivana. I don't like keeping Doom Beast in the opener. It's hard to enable it. We'll we'll keep one Nocturne. Okay, okay. All right, so I can't attack because if I attack, then my the flight goes away, and then they get to hit me with Zoe. Never again will we fall to dragon fire. All right, so I don't get the I don't get the Nightfall card, but I think I just unspeakable horror and killed you know just trade one for one with Zoe. It's assuming they they challenge. If they don't challenge, then we can go next round. Okay. Yeah, so they, they didn't challenge so they could have Sharp Side available to protect Zoe. It certainly looks like. So let's make them use a Sharp Sight right now. And then see if they have another one for next round. Oh, wow. Wow, that's like better for me. Get rid of a single combat like that? I'm happy about that. All right, so far so good. The fight just isn't the same without you, Anna. I am always here when you need me. Break them. Seven mana. I have Dust, Nocturne is four, then I have three other. It's unfortunate I wish I had four other. Mother Moon Bailey. Oh no, do we potentially pass? Hey, yeah, I'm basically always late. So I can pill Cascade and Unspeakable Horror and force them to use a Sharp Sight or something. some good cards out of their hand. I'm glad they're not going to have Concerted Strike now for Nocturne. Shroud the world in wings. I don't know what you're going to do, Hydrovine, but I'm going to take you. I 
don't have like six mana right now, do I? No, how much mana do I actually have? I don't know. I don't think they have six mana either. Oh, that was all my mana? Now I have 13 or 7? Man, who knows? I could have any amount of mana. Oh, man, I need one more mana. Ugh, I shouldn't have played that. I, I, was ho I was hoping I was going to have one mana left. I thought I was going to, but I guess not. Because I want 8 mana. Because I want Nocturne plus double unto dusk on the Nocturne. Oh, well. Temperamental as Man, I don't get to level up Nocturne either. I don't know. I don't know why that was bugged. Is it even worth attacking with all these? Yes, it is. Because we don't two damage across puts him to eight. Six, four, two. So I can either I, mean, I really wish we had two of these. I can either do the Nocturne and try to save Nocturne. Put Shivana down to two power. Or I could do the onlooker and try to kill Screeching Dragon. Or I could burn them for two. Okay, that should buy me a lot of time killing Screeching Dragon. Definitely wish I had the ability to do both of them this round. Awesome. We were peaceful once. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. Hydrovine time. Another day guarding the walls. Rude. I played Hydrovine so I'd have because obviously they're gonna attack with this 5-4 lifesteal, and I wanted to have like this little ephemeral. Oh. Cool. Block. And we still do. Not so bad. I was hoping for Nocturne. Uh, I'll just pass. They use the fight. They use their extra five mana. I could keep my three spell mana. That was the other card I was hoping for. Was that or really in soul? Because a really in soul always wins. I can't. I can't stop this early until either. Their sense travels in the night air. Equinox doesn't help. Calm mind and open heart greet the night. All right, so I can Calibrum and shoot a five three or a five two, but they'd still level up a really soul. Oh, it just gives me a random invoke card. Yeah, Diana, Nocturne, or Aurelian Soul all would have been good. The Aphelios was the worst one. As darkness falls, the moon rises. I guess I'm going to start working towards leveling up Aphelios. If we do level up Aphelios, it can be pretty good. But we were, at first we were going to just play two Aphelios in this deck, but then we are like, wait a minute, how do we beat Aurelian Soul without Aurelian Soul? And so that's why we have an Aurelian Soul. 
I'm guessing they only have one Aurelian Soul also. Maybe they have two. I sure hope they don't have obliterate. I guess I should have gone for the Doom Beast, right? If I would have, you know, Doom Beast and been unto dusking the Doom Beast all the time, maybe we could burn him out. Alright, so that was the second one they created. Remember, they still, like, their Celestials cost zero. Could still have obliterate. I just gotta hope they don't. That extra mana doesn't mean anything. I just want them to spend more mana or play something else first. Okay, good. Not obliterate. Oh wait, no, Eclipse Dragon created that. No, that wasn't the early insult card. All right, well here's hoping. Play a dragon. No. Well, that card was our shot. Aurelian Soul was the only card in their deck that we could, couldn't beat. <laughs> you know, like, we're never gonna lose to, like, these dragons, like, with all the, like, we're never losing to the, the dragons or anything, but Aurelian Soul is... That's the card. I guess maybe I should go Loping Telescope. I don't know, can you cheese out a win? Doubtful. Highly doubtful. I guess I should have taken out Slurp Jesus. I do love an audience. Heroin could bring back the thirteen ten, I suppose. I guess I, I have to. Oh, I'm not gonna have the mana for this, am I? Three, two, three, two. No, I need I need one more mana. Find peace in the quiet, Phil. It's just us. Because they're going to open attack, obviously, with the Scourge. See, that doesn't... So when you're playing... What we learned is when you're playing Invoke decks... Invoke versus Invoke, the only card that matters is Aurelian Soul. And so that does make it seem like maybe we shouldn't have Aphelios at all. You know, like we have the one Aphelios, one Aurelian Soul. Uh, looking like we should just have two Aurelian Souls. Because, you know, like it just... They're just not on the same competitive plane. Do not fear, Aphelios. I'm with you. 
But then there's like other games like this, like, you know, like where you'd rather, you know, basically a, a lot of other matchups, you'd rather just have ac access to an Aphelios, because an Aphelios can do a lot of work. But if you play against Aurelian Soul, you can't, you you just can't beat Aurelian Soul unless you have a better Aurelian Soul. It's kind of my problem with that card. Is, it's just a, a one singular card that just is, it's just unbeatable. Unless, you know, obviously, like, different decks can beat it, right? Like, Lurkers can beat a Aurelian Soul, but, like, a, a Targon Invoke deck, you can't, you can't beat a Aurelian Soul. Alright, so we're going to be working on our Aphelios, you know, Calibrum, Gravitum, you know, using those kind of cards to help take down uh, different Lurkers. I can't stop that. <laughs> Miss? Uh -huh. Wow, and it's a Rek'Sai? They didn't know it was a Rek'Sai, right? Two, three, four, five, six. I don't think they knew that I was going to be a red sign. Mm, I really wanted to obliterate, of course. Alright, so this doesn't hit Aphelios anymore, but we'll take Golden Sisters for this matchup. Oh, yeah, Siphon Strike's great when it works. the Rek'Sai. Keep it from coming back. I'm gonna guess. Pass? Maybe they don't have... Yeah, I was gonna say they. That's what I thought. I thought they made hammer snout by how how they gave me priority again. That was the most likely thing that happened right there. Please not Rexai. Okay, good. It wasn't Rexai. So if that's Rexai, then this one survives, obviously, and that's a big problem. I was planning on playing Clip Dragon this round, but now that we have Nocturne, we're going to go that route. Yeah, I guess we are really, really weak to that card, I suppose.
I didn't play the other flight out to also get killed. But now... Keep the pike from striking. So if that card is Pike's champion spell, this bone skewer, it's going to make my life really difficult trying to kill this pike if that thing's bone skewer. So maybe instead of going for you know, Eclipse Dragon, try to challenge. Maybe we need to go Lunari Priestess. Look for Obliterate. Instead. We haven't hit Falling Comet so far. Yeah, because, you know, like, if I go Eclipse Dragon challenge, they just have this Zer Zereth Bone Skewer. Or even the Pike Bone Skewer. Okay, so I don't have the mana for that right now. Stun the Zerzareth. I guess I could stun Pike. But the thing is, like, this... Stunning the Pike only lasts for this round. Stunning the Zerzareth, you know, works for the next round also. I can't attack here because if they have another two costs or less lurker, I need I need three blockers. Even though the pike's gonna kill everything. I think not attacking is correct. Best canary. Alright. So let's go. No 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 no! Oh, that's close. Good thing it's not a burst spell. Whew. Okay. So if they have the card that we're thinking that they have, this Bone Skewer, then they get to put Pike back on top and then get a death from below, and I don't know how I beat that. So it's just hope they don't have it, I guess. You know, like that's <laughs> that's all that's all we have is hope. Yeah, they have Bone Skewer. Now that's death from below. Mother Moon Valerie. And now we're dead. Hide no longer. Oh, I can't even hit the six mana obliterate. I was gonna say I need the six mana obliterate. We can't even hit that. The siphoning strike. The siphoning strikes are just perfect against me. Alright, so this hand looks terrible against Draven Sion. So we'll send it all back. Thankfully they hope you know, hopefully they don't have a good hand either, because they sent everything back. <laughs> yeah, Pike is Yeah, Chad says Pike is beyond messed up. Yeah, it's that's the card, right? It's 
Lurkers isn't that good of a deck, but you have a card that's beyond messed up, and so like if you are able to maximize that card, which all those siphoning strikes and the bone skewer and stuff, they certainly did. If you're able to do that, I don't know if like that seven drops gonna be that great. Should, maybe should have waited on the Loping Telescope, because I can't turn on Nightfall at all. Each act of heresy is an act of passion. I guess I'll throw a Diana out here. I cannot turn back. I will be heard. That card was probably gonna be annoying. I didn't want to see Mystic Shot. That's how it is, I suppose. Didn't want to have to do that. Axes coming right up. Okay, I could really use a cheap Nightfall Enabler. That's not that. Unseen, unheard, the new moon conceals you from our foes. Find peace in the embrace the night, Aphelios. Find your path in the dark and follow no. I'm going the Aphelios, grabbing Calibrum. I can use Calibrum as early card, you know, like we could go the Priestess and try to invoke and use something else for invoke to first to be able to turn on Nightfall, but Calibrum works well. The Aphelios can also block the 4-3, like I could definitely see myself just blocking that 4-3 with Aphelios. Of course I'm worried about, you know, I, I know that we have the 3-4 quick attack, but I'm worried about survival skills, like some treasure block survival skills. Time for the money makers. Let's do this. Man, good hand. It ends in silence. Hide no longer. Cloaked in silver light. Guide him, mother. Okay. Got that other hand. Probably gonna be using the Unto Dusk on the Doom Beast. So that's where we're going to, going to need to be. What's my name? All right, so yeah, like usual, gotta hope they don't have Scion. They've had a very good hand. Really gotta hope they don't also have Scion. Oh, wow, never mind, they just have that. Man, what a hand. We have played against some opponents today. They are living their life. The Lunari will not live in fear. These opponents have been living their life. Okay, so that was our Nightfall Control trying to use Nocturne with Control. I have to say that I wasn't very impressed with Nocturne with Control. I think that there's a, a deck here, but I think that it's got to be heavier on Aurelian Soul and heavier on Diana. I think it's gotta be like three Diana, two Aurelian Soul. I think those are the two champions that really matter. Uh, you know, like maybe one Nocturne, um, but I think that the, those are gonna be like the most important things uh, for this kind of deck. Um, yeah, I think I think Diana's probably like the most important champion early on and then Aurelian Soul later. 
Um, probably have to go just you know like i think you just have to kind of make it more invoke and not nightfall you know i think that you have to play less of these nightfall cards because in order to play all these nightfall cards and you know like with nocturne you just can't have the interaction that you need and that's what we saw that we struggled with was we were relying on a lot of other cards to find us the interaction and that we just didn't have it so i think that's the kind of the way to go with invoke is be able to play you know, invoke with interaction. And I, th and I do think Diana is a good secondary champion to a really in soul in that kind of deck. But I think that's what we kind of learned here today is that this should be uh, like, if, we want, you know, if we're looking for a Nocturne deck, we should be going back and just playing regular old Nightfall aggro, not control. I don't think that, I don't think the Nightfall and the control worked well enough together. So I think I'd recommend going, you know, Nightfall aggro. Something like this with, you know, like your onlookers, Crescent Guardians, burn them out, use Nocturne's, you know, ability to not let the, them block. And, you know, kind of go back to this kind of deck. So, tried something new, tried something new, and tried something different. Um, I think that what we learned was um, those two regions with control can be fine, but... I think you really have to go more towards the invoke and towards interaction. You know, you need interaction, you need invoke. Um, you don't need all these nightfall cards. I don't think you need um, these nocturnes and unto dusks and pale cascades. And I mean, I guess you could play unspeakable horror if you want, but you know, you don't need the flight and shade stalker and dusk bringer and all that kind of stuff. All right, there we go. Um, you know, you live, you learn, right? Like we we're gonna continue to play decks. We're gonna we're gonna learn about them. And I think that's what we saw, that just not having any interaction really hurt. You know, like my opponent would have, you know, like those siphoning strikes, and I had no interaction. Couldn't stop a siphoning strike. Couldn't stop, like, a pike in play. That's a problem, uh, especially for a control deck. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck. Hopefully y'all enjoy it. Uh, hopefully y'all learn stuff as well, because that's what it's all about. It's about learning. It's not always about having, you know, we're not always going to have the absolute best decks right away, but, you know, we're going to try new stuff, try new things, and explore and learn. All right, well, that's going to be it here for Nightfall Control. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.